Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Best soundtrack. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Hagel's Fish. And I'm Katatsumi 101. And welcome back to Let's Play Manui Online. Or Monog. Or Monog for short. So today we're sailing <laughs> off to uh, Powahi because we gotta go see if Huki's okay. Yeah. So this is the uh, desert region on the island, home to the Stone Village. Nice. And I love this. This is a gift shop. <gasps> this a gift says, shop? Can we buy it? Do you want to see what this says? Yeah. That says, my friend went to Pokoro and all I got was this lousy rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I don't know this guy's name. You have to forgive me. Oh. Eh? What's that? <laughs> Sorry, don't get too many travelers around Powahi these days. What can I do for you? Need a boat? Information? Or a souvenir, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is a Powahi? <laughs> Powahi is... Well, there's not much to it, really. Mostly sand. Lots of sand. But there are canyons, which look pr pretty cool, and the, the sun or I don't get to you first. <laughs> And there's the Bath of Prophecies. That's pretty rad. The ancient carvers made it. Pokoro is a decent place, too. And don't miss the games. Most everyone around Manui turns up to see a Koli match when they're on. Haven't been too many visitors lately, though. Aw. All right. Goodbye. I want to... <laughs> Stay out of the sun. It's kind of hard to do. Can, do you sell, like, like uh, umbrellas that I could use? Can I have, like, a parasol? <laughs> like, like a Princess Peach parasol? I want that little... Uh... Crocodile alligator. Oh, the Taraka. They say sold Bionicle toys there at the fucking <laughs> Bionicle store. Uh, so this is kind of cool too. Um, this way, this. this way says Quarry, and that way says Pokora. Let's go to the Quarry first. Just check it out. Yeah, if this is what I remember, then it's just like a cool stone cool. quarry. See? Yeah, this this is so cool. With a little statue to represent each Toa. Nice. Not much we can do here yet, though. It's pretty though. No, it is really cool. <laughs> Let's go over to Pokora then, shall we? It's a good thing you're playing this, because, like, oh, I know where to go. awareness. <laughs> oh, my God. This is... Is that who oh, I think it is? This is one of the best goddamn characters. Let's talk to him. Another Hafu original. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I impress myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If you're looking for Pokora, Traveler, take the road to the right. My right. Or is it your right? Can you guess what it is yet? So this is Hafu. <laughs> we'll meet a lot more about him later. Mm. Hafu is like the narcissist. I of this love game. Him. He is a sculptor and he thinks he is the greatest sculptor who has ever lived. <laughs> and he doesn't care if you don't agree because he thinks and that's all that matters to him. Mm -hmm. I, I love that character. He's so great. He keeps like congratulating himself. I know. He's cast. so, he's <laughs> such a fun, this whole game, the cast is so fun. Yeah. All right. That way it says Oniwahi, which is actually the chapter after this one. So let's go mm -hmm. here to Pokoro. Cool. Stone Village. See all these statues out here? Mm -hmm. Do you think Hafu made them all? <laughs> well, he'd probably let us know. <laughs> he'd make sure to let us know. Here we are. Nice. Stone Village, see? It's... I don't know. Not a lot of people outside right now. No. Well, there's some livestock, you know? There's yeah. some, like... See, look. Dang. <laughs> Who's that? He's kicking around a little ball in the sports field, see? <laughs> He's like, hmm, gravity. I know. <laughs> Are you here for a Coley match? I sure could use some more teammates to play with. All the others have gone home. They're not feeling well. Not even Hookie can play anymore. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. And I just got a new comet. Traded to Hoosie for it. I think Hoosie were like the ostrich things. Comet's uh, the ball he's using. Gotcha. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> <laughs> what is Coley? You must not be from around here. Coley is the greatest sport of Matanui. It's basically the football of uh, It Matanui. kind of is. Like, everyone loves it. It's incredibly simple, but it takes much more skill than the sports they play at all our villages. Oh, okay. Throwing shade now. Not no soccer. <laughs> Coley is played in a Coley field. You're Duh. <laughs> you're standing in the biggest one in Powahi, but they don't have to be as fancy as this. All you need is four goals set up on each side of a square. There are four players. I think they completely retconned how this game is played because it really? was like played completely different like two years later in the story. <laughs> Each of the goals has its ahonga to guard it. You, to win, you have to kick the Coley balls like this one into any of the other three goals while at the same time stopping other players from getting their balls into your goal. That's it. I feel like that actually would be kind of fun to play as like a playground game. Yeah. So who's Hookie? 
Who is Hookie? Why, only the greatest Coley player ever. At least, he was. He fell oh, no. ill a little while ago, and I haven't seen him around much. He just li he lives just on the other side of the Coley field. Okay, lives across the spe street from the sports arena. I know. But no, Maki was right. He is uh, hurt. No. So what's a comet? A comet is the best kind of Coley ball you can get. Everyone is getting one of these now. They're perfectly balanced, so it's very hard to miss. And when you kick them, they fly as fast as a comet. I think I might be a little too caught up in the marketing hype. <laughs> I know, he sounds like he's advertising for them. <laughs> I'm not sponsored, though I wish I was. <laughs> they only started trading them recently at the bazaar. I don't know where they get them, but whoever carved them is a truly a master. It wasn't Tafu, though. He's an artist. <laughs> he doesn't make sports equipment. <laughs> Hop up! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Sounds like he might not be doing too well. So, uh, what's happening in this village is there's, like, a mysterious illness going around. Aw. I love Coley, but everyone is homesick. That's all he has to say. No one there? Shall we go into this house? Yeah, Big there's X an on? X on it. It's quarantined. Yep, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Ooh. Is that Hookie? That's Hookie. You might notice his mask is rusting, too. Oh, no. Shall we talk to him? Yeah. Stay away from me. I just want to be left alone. He's got, like, flies I, around him. I am hooky. I don't know. I've been here for how many days? I'm not sure anymore. I used to know. You must go. I feel strange. No one must come here, especially Maku. Aww. Do not tell her I am ill. It will worry her. She must not see me like this. She must not... All right, jeez, dude, Aww. okay. Man, he's dying. Get out! Uh-oh. Oh, and if you look back key. towards the sports arena. Oh, <gasps> no! Ooh. I'm gonna cry. Something's happening here. So why don't we go speak to some authority in this village, see? Yeah. Look at, I love how it's like the X on the doors and everything showing you that like, people are not doing well. Yeah, everybody's like gone. No, they're, they're all getting this mysterious sickness, so. Mm. So is. this is this is Anua, the leader of the Stone Village. Yeah. And uh, I just like to, I just like to look around their house. There's so much detail here. Yeah. Let's chat with him. Hail, adventurer! You have come at an unhappy time in Pokoro, I fear. I am about to announce to my people the news that the next Koli match will have to be canceled. I do not think even the great Pohatu could play Koli at a time like this. <gasps> I am distracted by many of Pokoro's problems, Adventure, and I can give you a little of my time. Do you think you can give me some clue about how to cure this illness? What makes you think I can help? <laughs> I'm like, just this, this weirdo that showed up. So who are you? He goes, I am Anua, Turaga of the village of Pokoro. The Tohonga here are master carvers, and their work is the envy of all of Matanui. But today, I'm not carving works of art. Instead, I am fashioning beds. Aww. I'm struggling to bring comfort to the sick people of this village, but it is a fleeting solace. We know nothing of this illness, how long it might last, or where it comes from. Left unattended, I fear the madness. The madness is a reference to, like, the corruption that the Makuta spreads mm. when the mass of the animals got rusted. Yeah. And you know, Suki's mass are getting rusty, too. So this is infecting them and making them, like, essentially, when they get fully corrupt, they'll become a servant to the Makuta. Oh, jeez. I know. Isn't that kind of dark? It is dark. So, uh... Why are you canceling the call Yeah, why are you match? canceling it? <laughs> a dark plague has corrupted my people and my village. Though many still stay at their work and visit the bazaar and play Koli, they have blinded themselves to the truth and put strength and duty before fear. Huki, our greatest Koli champion, was one of the first to fall ill. He has become weakened and cannot move from his bed. I fear that soon we will see him in the beginnings of the madness, the same diabolical force that grips the wild Rahi when their masks become infected. Mm. Yeah, see? Damn. No, there, there might be screws. So who's Pohatu? Pohatu is the Toa of the Pokoro Tonga. His great strength can fell mountains, and the Kanohi Kakama gives him speed greater than any creature on Matsunui. Kanohi's the, the word for their masks. Yeah. And then so Kakama would be his specific mask, the speed mask. So right. he can run at, like, the speed of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> the irony is that Pohatu's strength and speed cannot help us. An enemy that can neither be seen nor felt plagues us. I love the creativity of that. Mm -hmm. I love the creativity that this village are protected by the strongest and fastest of the Toa, so they give them an enemy that he cannot do anything against. A sickness. Yeah. There's so much creativity in this game story. Vakama of Takoro has sent some of his guard to assist us, but they will not enter the village for fear of falling prey to this disease. Instead, they are combing the hills in search of Pohatu. It's on a grave quest for the massive power. So Pohatu's currently on his quest. 
and part of Jala's men, actually from the Fire Village, are looking for him right now. Oh, uh, okay. In the hopes that he can help them. Without mm-hmm. knowing even where this illness comes from, there is little anyone can do, even the great Oatu. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I guess that's it. Goodbye. Uh, I wish you the speed of Oatu adventure. Getting out of sick village. Hoping those goddamn cars outside will shut up finally. I know, right? <laughs> so we'll go here a bit. That's where they're selling the uh, comets. Yeah. But first things first. Kind of suspicious that it's the Coley players getting infected, right? Yeah. Very suspicious. Almost like there's something up with these balls. Hmm. Oh, shit. You mean to tell me no one in this village knows the booger mucus spewing around <laughs> in the balls? Gross. Disgusting. Ugh. All right, let's go show this to Ottawa. Uh-huh. Can I, like... There we go. Anua, I have something for you. Hail adventurer! It's a gross booger ball. What? But this is just a coli ball. Hmm. But not just any coli ball. This is the special kind that is being traded at the bazaar, and which has become very popular. Thank you, adventurer, for showing this to me. You are as noble as your reputation and resourceful. This opens my eyes to many things. If these balls are the cause of this illness, then we must take them away from this village and throw them into the sea, where they will then infect the fish, and then the water village will all get infected from me and the infected fish. But whatever. <laughs> But they are very popular, and the Pokohoro Tohonga value Koli above many things. I cannot take these away from my people unless I have proof that they are the cause. Hmm. However, this is a vital clue. I know that a merchant in the bazaar sells these balls. You must find out from him where these balls come from, but take care. If he is somehow involved in this plot, then he will not want you to find out. Hmm. The evil that visit Gakoro across the waves has come, it seems, to our ocean of sands. I fear the shadow of the Makuta has been cast across Pokoro. I know that the source of evil must be found, or all may be lost. If Akama's guard can find the Toa, I will suggest to Pohatu that he seek you out, and together I hope you can do what is necessary. Would that the sick did not need me, or I would come to assist you on your quest. That is a weird sentence. <laughs> He's very poetic. I know, they all speak so poetically. Alright. Wish you the speed of Pohatu. So, he says we gotta go figure out where those balls came from. Yeah. So let me talk to the guy selling us off. Comet? Right. Make, make me an offer. <laughs> so you get to make him an offer. So this character, they actually don't say his name here. This is Akru. He's a very important character who comes out a lot throughout the series. Yeah. Hello, stranger. Are you looking for a good Coley ball? Let me recommend the Comet, our most popular model. Our Comet balls are the best in Manui. Everyone wants one. Don't be the only Tohonga and Pokora <laughs> without a Comet. You'll be a loser. All right, uh, what the fuck is a Coley ball? <laughs> Why? Coley balls are flying Coley, of course. You'd want a Comet, our most popular model. Trading for two Hoosie pecking birds or the equivalent. What about just, like, money? I can give you a check. <laughs> so, uh, how do I buy one? We trade here, like in the rest of the bazaar. If you got something worth trading, I'll give you a Coley ball for it. He's really trying to sell me on those. God, yeah, take one. He's really fishy, isn't he? Take one now. So, where do you get your Coley balls? Well, now, that's uh, privileged information, my friend. Let's just say I have a secret source. He's suspicious. He's the bad guy. I do not trust you, Akmu. One thing I kind of like is the Pohatu set actually came with a Koli ball. Oh, yeah. I love that. All right. Well, uh, goodbye. Come back anytime. The three dots. Oh, God. <laughs> mm, well, he doesn't want me to take... He doesn't want to uh, tell me where he's coming from. So why don't we just steal something? Oh, my God. You, you could just steal one? Sadly, no. You actually cannot just steal one. Aw. I wish you could. That'd we, be so funny. We already got one from the playing field. True. We can't steal this. What is that? Question we don't marks. know. Looks like a doorknob. Yeah. Now, actually, this is kind of weird. The symbol on there is always random. And the first time I played this game, it was the stone symbol, which I think it should have just always been the stone symbol. Mm-hmm. Because that gives you a clue then, because that's the stone symbol. Yeah. That is the stone symbol beneath the head. Mm-hmm. And noticeably, there's like a little thing there, like you can stick it in something. Yeah. And that's telling you to go back to the quarry and stick it there. It makes a lot more sense when it's the stone symbol. I think that's the earth symbol mm-hmm. yeah um, but it is random there's hafu he's staying away from the sickness i don't blame him <laughs> he's staying far away from that but he's like if i'm sick then who would make my beautiful art <laughs> so let's go over back to the quarry shall we yeah and i believe that's okay. the earth symbol so we'll go to the earth toa and once you know it a plus right, right there, there it is almost like bam oh wow it's actually kind of creepy. I know. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> we have to. Oh, Onwards we go. <laughs> Ooh, like, I love the tension of this game. I know. There they are, see? Ew, slime. And there's an infected mask. Yeah. And it's guarded by Scorpion. Oh my god. It's purple. Ooh. Oh, here he comes. There's Pohatu. <gasps> 
No! Adventure, the scorpion has blinded me for the moment. It'll be some time before my sight returns. Tell me where to kick the ball, and together we can destroy the Nui Jaga's nest. So welcome to this cool little minigame. Look how fast Watu goes around. Damn, he's fast. So we have to destroy this nest. You actually have to hold down mm -hmm. the click in order to charge up the strong click. Otherwise, yeah. just like a little weak one like that doesn't do much. Yeah. And it's way easier for him to destroy it. Because mm -hmm. he'll try to block it, the scorpion. Mm. This is so fucking cool. This was my favorite mini game, I think. This was fun. This was yeah. fun. So what's interesting, too, is originally, uh, this is a cut plot line. They were going to foreshadow to there being like a seventh village on this island, like a dark shadow village that worshipped the Makuta, and Akmu was going to be a member of it. <gasps> they end up cutting this plot line entirely, though. That was originally the idea, though. And that oh this God. here was going to be the entrance to that village. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's just that Akmu himself is a servant of the Makuta. Um, yeah. Akmu has quite a backstory. Um, like every character in this game, there's a fucking wiki page that'll take you hours to read or something. <laughs> Um, but like, basically it's like Akmu like traded his soul to the Makuta or whatever. Oh jeez. And like does his bidding. Akmu's a corrupt little bastard. Yeah. So I just like, if I ever have any questions about the story, that's why I just ask you, because you can give me just like this brief little like summary I'm pretty of sure, everything. I'm pretty sure half of what I'm telling you is not accurate at all, <laughs> because it's been so goddamn long since I've like read anything. <sighs> this music is awesome. Oh yeah, I love it. Also, I love the scorpion toy, too. He actually fucking sings, too. I gotta, like, show off these toys in a video one day, because these, especially, like, the first generation, some of the best goddamn toys in the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we blocked you. Bam. Ow. It's, like, this is the hardest one to get. It's, like, yeah, right there. Yeah, he's, like, right in front of it. I know sometimes you can, like, kick one there to make him go, like, that way, and uh, then, like, kick another one. Trick him, yeah. It looks like you could just kick it right over his tail. I mean, I could probably just go there myself and smash it with my foot. <laughs> I love like how playful it is, you know? I know. He's great. Yes. Watu's like the dude bro of Vitella. He has one of my favorite masks, too. Let's get out of here. Oop, mask be in action. Here he goes. <sighs> you want to see him run to that rock and back? <laughs> want to see him do it again? Excellent, my friend. We make a good team. My size has returned to me. That was an evil plan indeed. Anuwa was right to call upon me. That was an effective mask set beside the Koli balls. But who left it there and placed the balls beside it? Akmu. Hmm. Though Pokora will be safe now, we have uncovered an even greater mystery. I fear the Makuta's influence may extend beyond the Rahi now. And that's actually referring to the plot that was going to become the Shadow Village. Yeah. It was going to come back later in the game. They ended up sadly cutting that plot later, Aww. so this is kind of foreshadowing to nothing. But Darn. I know. But it's cool to think what could have been. Yeah. I will take this news back to Pokoro and help them carry the infected Koli balls into the sea. The Mask of Power will let me get to the village quickly enough, I think, to even save Huki. Oh, good. Maku will be so pleased. You are a cunning ally, friend, and brave. I hope that we shall meet again someday. Oh, good, yeah. Maku will be so happy. <laughs> Walking off into the sunset. Ooh, oh, no, zooming off. Zooming off into the sunset. Rolling around at the speed <laughs> of sound. <laughs> Actually, I think if you try to go back into the nest, it's like uh, collapsed completely. Oh, really? Can I, can yeah. I see it? I want to see it. Yep. Oh, uh -huh. And also, you can go to any of these. Um, any one could have the nest under it. Uh huh. So I think it would make most sense for it to just always be this one. Yeah. With the stone symbol, because then it's like foreshadowed a little better with like the statue Anua has. But oh. Well. Mm. Shall we head back and finish off this chapter? Yeah. I hope everyone watching is enjoying this game as much as I am. I yeah. I adore everything about this game. This is a great game. It's just so intriguing. If it's your first time seeing the story, it's just like It's so man. cool. And look, this is gone fishing. Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah, he mm. fled as soon as he realized we figured. I feel like he leaves as soon as he notices you took that little key yeah. to the uh, quarry. Yeah. I feel like even, like, when you start asking him where do you get the balls, he's probably like, oh, shit. <laughs> Want a maha? Going cheap. So he's selling livestock. A maha. <laughs> these are the hoosies. Oh. You can actually build these. Wait, is that the thing I just built recently? Uh, we built that a while ago. Um, Wasn't it? That was, like, a year ago, I think. Huh. You can also build these, too. I love them. They're so cute. Hail, hero! Poatu has already been here and gone. He is so fucking fast. <laughs> the infected Koli balls have been taken to the sea, and they will bother us no more. The Tahunga and my village are recovering from their illness. I am not certain what became of the merchant who stole those Koli mm. balls, however. He disappeared before Poatu returned. He does come back later, though not in this game. Yeah. Poatu has told me of all your adventures. We, like the Gakoro Tahunga, will long honor your deeds. Nokama was right when she said you would be witness to many important things transpiring throughout our land. She asked me to watch you, and tell her if I also feel this. I know now that you are the one her astrologer has spoken of. Take this carving tool, which is the proud symbol of our greatest carvers. Show it to Nokama and she'll give you the Book of Chronicles. We gotta backtrack a little bit. 
Nice. And then he's not going to say anything different there, so I'll say goodbye. Gotcha. You can close that. Let's see how the village is doing now. Yeah, they seem to be doing better. I want to see how Hookie is, though. Well, first, and that guy who was playing. Um, oh. I don't know if the same guy is there. He might take... Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Good. He's all right. They're all doing better. <laughs> and look. Yay, Yay team. team. <laughs> it's like the most generic god. Who ate all the pies? It's <laughs> a good question. Who did eat all the pies? I wasn't offered any. <laughs> look, that guy to the left has a foam finger. I know. I love the personality. <sighs> There's so much personality and charm in this game. I know. Oh, my God. I guess all the pies are gone. Yeah. Who do you think will win? Foul. Ref. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> There's Hookie. Hookie. He's not better yet, but he's like getting back in yeah. shape. See? He's, yeah, he's working he's out. He's dancing. Yeah, that's how we... <laughs> hop, hop, hop. I love it. I will soon be fit enough to return to Koli and to Maku. Mm -hmm. If you see her in my travels, tell her I'm well. Oh, we will. Um, What the fuck does that say? Maku. No, it's only three letters. <laughs> M. I think that's a Y. Mip. Mip. <laughs> maybe have... maybe that's Maku's like little pet nickname. Mip. Mip. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tro I, I probably translated that wrong. <laughs> Alright, um, I think that's everything we can actually see here in this village. Yeah. So shall we backtrack to the water village? Yeah. That'll be where we end off this episode. Alright, bye Hafu. See ya Hafu, he doesn't say anything different sadly. Not yet at <laughs> least. There he is! <gasps> It's not gonna buy anything from you, boy. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go. Let's go back to Gakoro. Yeah, we gotta tell Maku. <laughs> we gotta tell Maku, and we also have to uh, show no comma the uh, chisel. Yeah. So Maku is in here. Cheer up! No, it's okay. <laughs> she, he's okay. Maku, Ma Maku, listen to me. She's like, my ears are deaf to all the cries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maku. Like, you can just put Xenoblade quotes on anything. I know. <laughs> Hello, Nokama. Do you have anything different? Hello again. <laughs> All right. There you go. Take this book and attend to it and travel to the villages. It will store all that you see. If the Toa fail and Matanui is destroyed, this at least will remain, and the ocean will keep it safe for us. I hope it's waterproof. <laughs> Thank right. you. Good, Good luck, Chronicler. So now your character has been named the Chronicler. That means it's their job to go throughout the island and record the history of it. And that's why you've been given the Book of Chronicles, also known as the episode book. Nice. What this lets you do is actually lets you rewatch the cutscenes. They're all different names. Like this is called Manui. Huh. That one's called Tahu. That one's called Tahu 02. The first one's Tahu 01. <laughs> that one is Nokama. Mm -hmm. That is Gali. See? It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's nice. Also, there's Windows and Mac versions. You can actually download <gasps> the videos as, like, a video file. Oh, that's awesome. But anyway, I like how they even integrate that into the story, how you can rewatch the cutscenes. Yeah. Does Maku say anything different now? Maybe. Nope. No, of course not. <laughs> she does later in the game, I know. Mm -hmm. So we have to come back here a few times in the game. Yeah. But uh, without all of the way, I think we're actually done everything I want to do in this episode. All right. So, thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to go off to that uh, other area by Hafu, the place that said Oniwahi. So we'll see you all there. Bye-bye.